it is day 20 of our 30 day decluttering challenge. I'm so proud of you. If you're still here, you are an incredible human being. You should be so proud of yourself. That's like hard, my friends. So great job. We're going to do something really fun today. I'm going to show you a new exercise, a new way of decluttering your kitchen that maybe you haven't heard of before. So move to the kitchen. Don't just watch. Don't you dare just watch this on the sofa. Move to the kitchen. Set your timer for five minutes on your mark. Get set let's declutter. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to actually go and open up all your kitchen cabinets. And we're just looking. We want you to do, I want you to do this exercise because we never do this. We always see our kitchen cabinets with the doors closed. And this is such an incredible exercise because now you can really step back and look and assess like, why do I have space up here? But I don't have uh, you know, it's jammed over here. It allows you to look at your things a little differently, and that's helpful to identify the things that you're not really using. Especially if you have a cabinet like I do that's really, really full. Look and just, like, look, why do I have this? This random little thing can go, and I got this salt thing that you, like, I don't know what you call it. You, like, grade the salt. I have I am so lazy. It looks real pretty, but the truth is it's just taking up space. So I already found two things that can go, but I also see that I've got space up here, but this is a little too jammed. What I'm gonna do is relocate just to make room in this cabinet. So I no longer have to move things out to get what I need. This is such a good exercise, like I said, not just for decluttering, but for making your kitchen more functional. So stand back, take a look, identify things that you never ever use. Like, oh, I'm pretty sure, yeah. We never eat these cereal because they're empty. But then when Joe goes grocery shopping, he thinks we have cereal because there's empty boxes in there. And so he never buys new cereal because he doesn't eat it. Now's the time, friends. Those empty boxes are leaving. And you can assess, like, we don't eat the oatmeal because we can't reach it. Oh, but also, we hate this oatmeal. Oh, I forgot I had that jar back there. That makes me excited because I broke a jar over there and I wish I had one. But look, I have an extra one up there that I totally forgot I had. And pancake mix. This is good. What else do I have in here? This is good. This is good. This is good. This is a pain. Every time I have to reach up to get to this. But now that I've moved that bowl, I can set this right here. Ah, oh, that's what decluttering is all about. It's about creating little pockets of space in your kitchen. I'm feeling good. I mean, I got rid of more than five things. That's what we're doing here. This glass, so annoying. It's cute. I've just spotted it. All the stickers are peeling off though. And it's just, nobody uses it because it doesn't feel nice on the hand. So why are we keeping it? We have a minute less left, but honestly, if you're done, be done. Don't push yourself. Don't take everything out and sort and rearrange. All we're doing is identifying things that you're not using and you're not loving and getting them out in under five minutes. I am loving this challenge and I hope you are too. It's fun, it feels good, and in a little bit of time, we're making a huge difference in our homes. So get your butt back here tomorrow when we tackle another space. I'll see you then. Thanks so much for those of you who have stayed till the end. If you've been following me, you definitely know this story, but we're talking about kitchen cabinets, so I can't not talk about my old house's kitchen cabinets. They were a golden oak, which I did not love. I wanted to paint them white, but Joe, being the man's man that he is, wanted to preserve the wood grain. So I was like, maybe I'll just stain them a little bit darker. And when he was gone on a work trip, I bought some gel stain 
and just started slapping it on the cabinets and rubbing it on the cabinets, but it wasn't going on even. So I was like, guess I got to go black because I had messed them up so bad. So I stained again while my husband was out of town, my entire kitchen black. It looked great, guys. Okay. It looked fabulous. But then it's like a give a mouse a cookie situation. Then I noticed the baseboards looked golden oak and now this was black. So I was like, well, now I got to do the baseboards. Then I had to do the window sills. Then I had to do the stairs. Then I had to do the banister. Then I had to do every piece of wood in my entire house black. And then I looked around and thought, my house looks like the Adams family because everything is black. And that my friend, is how you almost get divorced. Not really, but he was not happy with me. But I learned how to stain like a champ. So, and I think it looked nice. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.